The Hamilton County School District promises to step up cleaning services to keep your kids safe in the classroom, but an open records request reveals there is an even bigger problem here. Documents revealed the district received at least 200 complaints this semester showing a lapse in basic cleaning. It details issues from trash not being taken out to floors not being cleaned, which is a spot where young children may actually sit for class. Isaiah Kim Martinez took the complaints straight to school leaders. Isaiah, what do they tell you? Josh, Kim, essentially they say janitors they contract from ABM have not been cutting it. Today we spoke to school district officials, school board members, and they acknowledge that. They say they're trying to work with ABM and other local vendors to try to up this standard because the reality is right now, no matter how many complaints, this will be the service they will have to use until the end of this school year. Hamilton County has added enhanced cleaners to many of their schools, but based on hundreds of complaints we now have access to, we've found some of the more basic custodial services seem to be the bigger concern for school workers. I think it's just from long-standing ex lower expectations that they have had placed on them. We filed an open records request with the district to see if employees were filing complaints about ABM. That's the company the district pays to provide custodians. What we found more than 200 in just about three weeks. The common thread, they're frustrated with what they call a failure to clean consistently. We know there are concerns and the reason we stood up uh, the poll or the, the option for teachers to submit concerns. Is Some say, quote, their room hasn't been mopped since the day school began. Others saying, quote, desks and high touch surfaces aren't being cleaned at all and they're concerned during this pandemic. So we're going in and putting in, uh, you know, much more stringent um, guidelines, uh, penalties, you know, if stuff's not getting done. School board member Tucker McClendon says it's gotten so bad they're looking to find a different company as soon as possible. But the earliest that could happen is by next school year after the contract with ABM is finished. Meanwhile, ABM themselves, they say some of the complaints may, quote, fall out of the contract's work. If you read through those, you'll, you'll notice there are a lot more concerns about uh, the evening work uh, than there is about the daytime work. Regardless, the district's chief of operations says a priority right now is to get more janitors to fill the late shifts. For that, he is looking to other local companies to bring in more workers by early October. And ABM also continues to say in a statement that we got within the last hour, they say that in some situations at times contracts could call for cleaning a desk, for example, for once a week rather than once a day. Now, some complaints also talked about a lack of an overnight custodian. ABM addressed this as well. They say that the 6 a.m. to 2.30 in the afternoon shift, as well as the 2.30 to 11, 11 o'clock at night shift are the only two that they cover. They do not cover overnight shifts with their their services. Reporting live tonight in Brainerd, I'm Isaiah Kim Martinez, News Channel 9. Isaiah, thank you. The Hamilton County School District says that they are targeting February to have a new company chosen to provide custodians for years to come. We have been told the earliest they could start would be June of next year.